What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV, and in this video we're going to be doing a detailed speed test between the iPhone XS Max and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So in the usual format, we'll start off with some benchmark scores, moving on to some regular social apps, then some games, and finally finishing off with RAM management. Now the Note 9 version I have here is the Exynos version, not the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, and it is the 128GB version which has six gigabytes of RAM. I've also set the resolution to Quad HD+, and both devices have been updated to the latest software version available at the time of this video. Now, before we start, just a quick thanks to our video sponsor, Tech21. Tech21 have just launched their new range of cases for the iPhone XS, XS Max, as well as the XR, which guarantee the most effective protection drop after drop. This is thanks to their impact absorbing materials, Flex Shock and Bullet Shield, which protect from drops of up to 3.6 meters, and the fact that Tech21 drop test their cases 20 times to ensure durable, long-lasting protection. If you want to pick up a case from Tech21, then check out the link in the description below. There's also a coupon code, which is going to give you 15% off. So kicking off with Geekbench scores, you can see here that the iPhone XS Max does score quite a bit higher, both for single or multi-core. Now, how this translates to real-world performance, we'll see very, very soon. Now, you can see that we've got no apps open in the background, and we're going to be starting off with Twitter. That did load up quicker on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now we'll go into notifications. That was pretty much neck and neck. We're gonna move on to Instagram. That was ever so slightly quicker on the Note 9 once again. Moving on to my profile. That was quicker on the iPhone XS Max. And we're gonna leave these open. We're gonna move on to Facebook Pages Manager. Quicker on the Note 9, we'll scroll down a little bit, or we'll leave this open, and we're gonna move on to YouTube. We'll play a trending video because the content on the home screen is slightly different. Pretty much neck and neck, I would say. So we'll leave this video open. And we're gonna move on to games now. You can notice this timer here at the bottom, and that's because we're doing things super staff style. And this will tell us exactly how long each of these games take to load up. And Angry Birds 2 does finish loading first on the Tennis Max, followed just about a second later on the Note 9. Moving on, we've got Jetpack Joyride. Definitely quicker on the iPhone Tennis Max uh, coming in. Once again, about a second later on the Note 9, Sonic Boom. Quicker again on the XS Max, the Note 9 coming in once again about a second later. We'll play the game, which was very, very close, almost neck and neck. Tempo Run 2. Very quick on the XS Max. A few seconds later this time on the Note 9, so the gap was a little bit more this time. We'll play the game, we're going to leave it open and we're going to move on to Subway Surfers. Now we do have different maps loaded up on both of these, so I'm not sure if we can take this into consideration, but it did load up quite a bit faster on the Tennis Max. We'll play the game anyway, and we're going to move on to Dead Trigger 2. Very fast on the Tennis Max, a few seconds later on the Note 9, we'll play the game. Once again, much quicker on the XS Max. Uh, quite consistently, the XS Max has loaded up uh, every game faster compared to the Note 9. Now we're gonna move on to Asphalt 9 Legends. See the screen first on the XS Max. But it does finish loading slightly faster on the Note 9, so a one for the Note 9 here for the games. Now we're going to try WWE Mayhem. Once again, you can look at the timer at the bottom to see exactly how long each of these take. The XS Max, pretty quick here, just under 10 seconds in total. The Note 9 is still going. And it comes in almost double the time after the XS Max. So. That's definitely interesting. Now we're gonna test out multitasking to see how many of these apps are still open. Asphalt 9 is still open, Dead Trigger 2. Still open in the same place. 
Subway Surfers. Still in the same place where we left it. Temple Run 2. In the same place. Sonic Boom. Same place. Now, around about here was when the iPhone 10 would give up because of RAM management. Uh, it looks like this may have been sorted on the 10s max with more ram angry bears 2 still in the same place so so far both are doing very well youtube we can play the video on both absolutely fine pages manager now this does have to reload on the note 9 this is very interesting usually it is not the case going on to instagram once again, although we're on the same page, it uh, wasn't scrolled down where we left it. It did have to refresh. Twitter, once again, it did have to refresh on the Note 9. So for RAM management, it looks like the iPhone XS Max has definitely had some improvements compared to the 10. So there we have it, guys. That is the detailed speed test between the iPhone XS Max and the Note 9. Now, although the Note 9 did open up some of the earlier apps faster, the bulk of the apps, especially the games, did load up faster on the iPhone XS Max and RAM management also seemed to be better on the XS Max, so I would have to give the overall win here to the XS Max. Now, of course, as mentioned earlier on in this video, I am using the Samsung Exynos version of the Note 9, not the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. And in my experience of using the S9 Plus with the 845, it has been faster compared to the Exynos. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 version of the Note 9 available. Neither do I have the 8GB version, so I can't do this test at this point in time. But those are the results with what I have available. What did you guys think of the results? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. We've got lots more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.